Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, the reason why we're here today is because we have a bottomless uh, coffee for five cents. Five cents all day coffee. Well, and the other reason why we're here is uh, I'm back in the kitchen working on our uh, kitchen appliances. And uh, yeah, we're still nursing the uh, kitchen appliances. Well, and the only reason why I'm uh, shooting this video is uh, there's there's already 101 uh, videos on YouTube on how to fix this appliance uh, for the, this particular problem. It's a no heat. But uh, nobody's showing you how to uh, diagnose it. So uh, I'm going to show you how to diagnose it so you don't have to throw a bunch of parts. All right, guys. I, I have my tech data sheet. Uh, I can't show you this for copyright laws, but uh, I will give you a link to it so you can go to the same uh, website. Uh, this same repair for this uh, GE dish, dishwasher will be the same repair. Uh, and I'm going to leave you a link. I'm going to let you know the pages you'll want to go to. Uh, Hot Point, GE, Profile, Cafe, Monogram, Lowe's, Adora, Sears, and Americana. So if your brand is under one of those uh, trade names, all the guts are going to be the same inside. So... Uh, you'll be able to fix this. But what what we're working on today is we have a no heat issue on our GE uh, dishwasher. I'll show you here in a minute. Let me pan down here. And uh, the heater's not working for dry, for uh, the dry cycle or the wash cycle. And when you, uh, when the pump runs, there's a, uh, there's an odor to the uh, water and the dishes aren't coming clean. But the part we're replacing, it, it's a flood switch. And this is what it is. Uh, it's got a little float in there. You can hear that float? That's what keeps your dishwasher from uh, overflowing. And the reason why it's not getting hot, it also has a thermistor in it. And I'll show you how to read the, the uh, resistance on the uh, thermistor. If you go to these websites, these part websites, it'll shoot you, you know, if you type in uh, no heat, it'll automatically say burner. You, you, you need a burner, uh, heating element. But uh, now it could be the case, but to check the heating element, you have to pull the whole unit out and uh, unbolt it and then uh, do a resistance test on the heating element. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna finish this job until I get kicked out of here until my five cent coffee runs. Uh, one more thing, I replaced the uh, thermistor and the uh, refrigerator if you go to uh, no cold refrigerator. Uh, I replaced the uh, thermistor in that, but it was good. If you uh, that'll show you, the uh, the resistance will change. If uh, room temperature, I think it's uh, 10, 11 K uh, of ohm resistance for the thermistor at room temperature. I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to fast forward through this video so I don't bore you to tears once I start tearing it apart. All right, guys, uh, I've got the power turned off now. All you're gonna need is a, a quarter inch nut driver. If uh, you don't have a magnetic uh, nut driver, you may wanna use uh, a little magnet so you don't lose your uh, screw. All right, we got the water drained out. You wanna take this screen out and all you do is uh, turn it counterclockwise and pull it up. It's not a big deal. We'll throw that in the sink. Uh, the, uh, the sprayer bar here, just turn it counterclockwise this bottom uh this bottom little nut here and that'll come right off not a big deal everything's simple this uh screen here you want to undo these little nuts here and here the screen comes up boom not a big deal guys oh pull this little uh lip cover over see there it just comes right off bam now the next thing we got to do is get in here with uh oh what you want to do is there's still a little bit of water at the bottom so when we pull this flood switch out we're going to soak this water up here with this paper towel just a little bit because it'll get all over the floor and any electric that uh here's the uh, quarter inch screws that we're going after one in the front that's the front of the machine and here's the one in the back. So we'll just get our quarter inch nut driver and be careful that you don't drop it down this hole here in the uh, right side of there. You may want to stuff a paper towel in there too. That probably would be a good idea. I think I'll do that. 
That way if you do drop the uh, nut, it's not gonna fall back in that uh, pump system. You got a wire under here, so don't pull it up too far. All right, guys, fix it, John. I'm gonna show you best I can. Uh, see this little tab here? You need to pinch it down here and then pull it off. There we go. And the uh, you don't have to worry about it too much because the plug only goes on one way. Make a mental note, the way it goes on, it has a divot on the green spot. I think you can shove it on the wrong way, but uh, for it to fit properly, it goes on with the little edge right here. See how this side is completely smooth? This side here has a little divot in it. That's the side you want the latch on. All right, guys, uh, fix it, John, here. Uh, I think, uh, if you look at this, I think I'm the reason, uh, to kill this flood switch because if you look in there, you see all that white stuff and you saw that at the bottom, see that white stuff in there? That's baking soda. I think I may have, uh, killed this float switch on my own with no help from anything else, but, uh, let's, uh, make a point. Don't put any uh, baking soda in our, uh, dishwasher anymore. Uh, all right, here's the, uh pins for the uh, flood switch. One, two, space, three, four, five, and six. Now you'll want to test uh, the resistance of five and six. Uh, if you can see there, there's one, two, space, three, four, five, and six. The two, the two in the center at the bottom, five and six, those are the ones you'll want to test, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, we're testing the uh, flood switch here, and we're on pin five and six. And watch the uh, resistance on the multimeter. This is the old one. It's pretty much just infinite. It's uh, at a limit. See, it's just all over the place. That should read like 11, 10, 11, 12, depending on room temperature. It's like uh, 75 degrees in here. So at... Uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, it should read uh, 11K ohms of resistance. So if you got a manual uh, multimeter, set your uh, value to 20,000 ohms. Uh, mine's auto ranging, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, uh, what the thermistor does, it, it, it sends a signal. It tells the, uh, the control board the, to heat the water, and then the water, then the control board tells the... Uh, heating element to turn on the pins five and six on this this is the new uh float switch and it doesn't matter which way you uh hook hook them up just as long as you're on pin five and six okay now we're at 10.23 k uh I believe it's like 75 degrees in here. That should be up a little higher. Oh, and before I install it, I'm gonna get this rubber O-ring wet. So uh, it slips in there a little easier. All right, you guys that see my channel, I don't want to lose this screw, so I got the paper towel uh, trick on the bolt. All right, guys, most of this stuff fits all one way. Hey guys, fix it, John. Uh, for this uh, particular procedure, I have the dishwasher running right now, uh, the technical service guide. 
I'll leave you a link that you can look up, uh, and uh, you'll want to go to pages 178, 88, 91 for this particular repair procedure. Uh, no hot water in the dishwasher. I've got it running now. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to confirm the fix. Hear the flood switch in there? You can't hear it. So that's part of, uh, that's part of the thermistor. Uh, and it's, and, and I, I probably did it with the baking soda, all that white crap in there. But you can get that, uh, here's the part number. You can get it on Amazon. Page 88 on this technical service guide, that's going to be the most important page for you to, uh, check over because, uh, it gives you a breakdown on what to check and what not to check. Uh, very simple, guys. Uh, save you a bunch of money. I can buy a lot of baloney with that now. And maybe buy a cabinet or two. Let's hope I don't have to uh, fix any more appliance. appliances. Hey, guys. Fix it, John here. I think that's a confirmed fix. I have my uh, infrared here to verify uh, the heat of it. So I'm going to open it up and give it a shot and see what it looks like. Got 108, look at the steam coming off of it, 109. So yeah, I think that's confirmed fix. Dishes will get clean now. So remember guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, hit that thumbs down button twice and uh, on to the next project. Thanks for watching.